Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This time it's going to be between Radavadra and Exploit on Trojan Hills, which, as I'm sure you all know, is pretty much my favorite map. Or at least one of them. Certainly I have there. Anyway, Exploit at the north side of the map going for Jumbot Factory, while Radavadra going for Spider Factory. This is a Knight of Spider Factory. Although, admittedly, the last two games have made sense because they were both on Melt. But this game is on a map where, okay, Spider does work, but so does everything else, actually. This map really does work for a lot of things. A lot of people will say it works especially well for air and gunships, which it does work well for those, but it really works well for anything. I've seen every factory play pretty much in this map and work. I think Jump does work, too. I think Jump actually has enough radius to get over these hills. So, overall, this is a very flexible map. And anyway, we do have Red Avatar coming in with about... A dozen fleas going into Exploit's base. Just a dozen fleas, not too many. Only 120 metal, actually 240 metal worth. While three puppies come in, get rid of one of the fleas, but the rest of them will be able to get through. There is a Lotus in Exploit's base, so it's not going to be too easy for Radovadra to get in, but at the same time, not going to be too hard either. And Radovadra in his base, getting a Venom, getting more fleas. Does he even have a Weaver? He has no Weaver yet. He has no Builder. He's going very heavy aggressive. While Exploit, on the other hand, also going fairly aggressive. Five puppies into a into a Freaker, and Radavadra is going to be attacking from pretty much all sides, hitting exploits base from all sides, which for fleas is not a bad idea, though I think actually he's not going to do that, what am I saying? These are fleas, he's not going to attack with them, he's going to scout with them. Keep them here, and that's what he's going to do, which is exactly what he should do, and not what I seem to assume, which is really rather silly for me to assume that, because that's what, you don't use fleas to attack, you use fleas to know when your opponent's going to attack. Anyway, Radavadra is pretty much aware, well actually not very aware of this. Exploit isn't going on the east side of the map, not the west side of the map where Radavadra is, though Radavadra is going to be aware of this Freaker coming along the west side of the map. And Fleas have been reset on the east side as well, so Radavadra has pretty much surrounded Exploit. The only way out will be to jump across this area here, and even that has just closed. Actually, there's a Flea here. Flea getting to that exact point, so everything is coming up Radavadra. And the Freaker has been spotted, and the Fleas are going to take it out. The Fleas getting slowed down a bit, but doesn't matter so much. That Freaker has no defenses, has to retreat, and is going to die with really nothing to be said about it. That Freaker is just... it's gone. Yep, there, there it goes. Goodbye, Freaker. Pyros are hop, however, and the Pyros will have no problem getting rid of the Fleas. Once they spot them, they're dead. I mean, anything, any other factory, pretty much its raiders are riots compared to Fleas. That's how weak Fleas are. But, puppies, of course, can only hit one target at a time. That doesn't really work. For Pyros, however, it's... I mean, Pyros are already pretty much a riot anyway. They're raider slash riot. So they're officially considered. Which is true. And against Fleas, it's doubly true. It looks like Exploit... He does have a Weaver, and he is taking the entire... Sorry, right about just taking the entire south side of the map. Exploit, really contained in his base. I don't see how he's going to have much chance dealing with this. I mean... Trying to do what he can to get out of here. The Freaker, unfortunately, not able to actually deal any damage. It's a slow beam, not a disruptor beam. And this Lotus goes down as well. The Freaker can't actually build it in time. And more Fleas coming in to take out the Freaker. The Freaker doing what it can to get out of there. Jumping away before Puppies come in to save it. Puppies will be able to get rid of the Fleas, but at the cost of themselves. Oh, at the cost of the Freaker too, unfortunately. I've said this before, but I will say it again. Friendly fire. It is not friendly. Unfortunately, the puppies were not quite aware of that, and got a little bit too excited. As puppies are wont to do. And, metaphorically speaking, they pissed on the rug. So, exploit, once again, down another Freaker. Building a moderator instead to try to deal with these fleas, but really, more Pyros would be the way to go. No, that that's just the way to go. Get Pyros and Freakers to take out the fleas with that. Although, Pyros will have a bit of a problem with Redbacks. Moderators will be able to deal with the Redbacks. So I can see at this stage, and same with Venoms too. Actually, Venoms, Pyros should have no problem. It, it's a matter of numbers with Venoms, but against Redbacks, yeah, I can see why he did this. Anyway, Exploit. Moving out with his commander. His commander actually in a very vulnerable position. The Moderator will be able to get rid of the Redback, so that's not going to be a problem. But the Venom might be. And the Venom is going to be Exploit's commander getting locked down, and there's not much that can be done about this. Exploit's commander about to be torn apart. The Moderator still has, I mean, it has about 12 second reload time. 10 second reload time. 
So another few seconds before it can deal with anything here. Thankfully for Exploit, it did attack the Venom, but unfortunately it's gonna go down and the Pyro comes in to save the day. Pyro, however, unfortunately, once again, not realizing friendly fire isn't friendly attacking through the commander, but able to get rid of the Venoms, and yeah, it doesn't matter of numbers. You need to have more Pyros than you have Venoms. So, yeah, Pyro on its own can't quite do the trick. Multiple Pyros can do the trick, though. Fortunately, though, for for Exploit, Radovadra can't actually easily set his fleas in a position to deal with these because of the splash of the EMP. Pyro is saved by its friend Pyro. And at the same time, we do have a Pyro raiding Radovadra's base. Radovadra better take a decent amount of damage, though that Lotus will be... Actually, it will be enough. The pyro attacks the Lotus, and that will finish it. Lotuses, that's what you want against Pyros. Against Jump Bots, just build Lotus. It's a great defense to have against them. It will take care of Pyros, or at least a Pyro. There's even two or three. Although, three are... Actually, you know, three is kind of borderline. If you have a couple Lotuses, it's no problem at all, though. And Radovadra is fairly well defended in his base. He has a decent amount of map control. He has an economic advantage. I think Exploit needs to fact switch. I mean, he can with the Jump Bot Factory deal some damage. But I think at this point, fact switching is probably his best bet. Although, that being said, a well-placed Pyro Raid along the west side of the map would actually deal with this. I don't think Exploit is aware that he has this option. But he soon will be. He is sending puppies along the right path. That is good. That's exactly what he needs to do. That's good game sense there. And Radovadra now no longer harassing this area. Exploit able to reclaim some of that metal, get a bit more on track, and build more metal-like chargers as well, which is just perfect. So Exploit, not quite out of the game. Actually, army-wise, they're pretty even. It's just a matter of growth rates at this stage. Radovadra, however, does have the fleas. He does have speed. He does have actually about equal opportunity to go over the hills. That part is not really an advantage. But the fleas are very fast. There's no denying that. However, the Pyros are also fairly quick, and Recluses are up. Pyros, with their health, shouldn't have a big deal. Should not should not have a pro problem with that. It should not be a big deal. I apologize, I am apparently rather tired. My diction suffers when I'm tired. As it does for most people. Unfortunately, I am human. I really can't do anything about that. I've, I'm not sure what I could do about that, honestly. Yeah. If you have any ideas, please let me know. But at this stage of my life, I really don't know what I can do about being human. It's just something I have to live with. Anyway, this moderator is unfortunately trying to fight fleas, which does not work thanks to the reload time. Goes down right away. That reload time is a pain in the butt. But that's why you have moderators with support. And a placeholder, however, that is... That's a good idea. Exploit will be able to placehold a bunch of fleas. Although immediately the fleas go down quickly enough. It shouldn't matter too much. The Venom will be a better... That would be a better target, however, range difference. Pyro has only 40 range on the Venom, but if the Venom does get placehold, place held, then it won't be a big deal. However, the placeholder is just now getting in place, and the Venom, unfortunately, in range of the Pyro, so this doesn't actually help any. Nope, doesn't help at all. So unfortunately for that Pyro, the placeholder did not come in in time and stop the Venom from stunning it out and killing it. And of course, the placeholder can't do anything against the Fleas, so the Fleas will kill it as well. Radovadra maintains control over the map, despite the fact that Exploit had a small army advantage. He is, however, able to rebuild some of his economy, or at least build up more of his economy, behind, but not completely. Still fairly far behind, and I really do think that getting air wouldn't be a bad idea. Just to burn down a lot of the stuff here. That being said, though, Spider does have Tarantula, and Tarantula is a big threat. But yeah, or just do what Sanic did, build a bunch of Ravens. Although, admittedly, at that point, it's a matter of ground army. Like, Radovadra is overwhelmed with ground army, but well hidden. A bunch of Ravens could take out the factory, and then that would mean death. Yeah, Exploit's in a really tough spot right now. That early game raiding and basically contain, that did a lot of damage. That contain with the fleas. Anyone wanting to play spiders, bear that in mind. Flea contains are very difficult to deal with. They require more support, and overall are just tricky to work with. Trying to get out of that requires some more defenses, requires extra units that can't be used for raiding. Ultimately, it does slow your opponent down a bit. And in this case, it works quite well, and Radovadra just flooding the area with fleas. And not much can be done with that. For some reason, Exploit is still building puppies. I can see that's supposed for the other units, but puppies tend to have a problem with fleas. 
This is true in every sense of the phrase. Unfortunately, due to the lack of any convenient shampoos in Zero K, the best bet is to use other units. Yeah, you cannot give the unit, puppy unit a flea bath, unfortunately. You can, however, use pyros. You can kill the fleas with fire, which works fairly well because they are you're not going to set everything else on fire in the process as you would normally if you were to try to set a dog on fire to get rid of fleas. It's a bad idea. I do not recommend it. I really don't. I do not endorse trying to get rid of fleas using such extreme measures. However, in the case of this game, it's exactly what you need to do because these fleas, the Spiderbot Factory fleas, there is no measure too extreme to get rid of them if it involves pyros. And only a couple of them just going around the map. So actually, extreme measures are a bad idea too because they're they're really cheap units. I mean, they go around the map, they don't live very long. For pyro, it's actually for jump bots a little bit hard because pyro is about their only raider unit. That's their lightest unit that can effectively deal with fleas. Cloaky bot is much easier time, as does shield bot. But jump bot probably has the hardest time, with the possible exception of amphib, at dealing with fleas. An exploit and Radabout to the commanders are fighting up against each other. Radabout commander, however, it's a battle com with a riot cannon compared to exploits, which is a support com that's not even upgraded yet. The only advantage seems to be a slight range difference. Yeah, 30 range, so Exploit can kite Radavadra out and at least escape this, but at the same time, Exploit is retreating into enemy territory. Not the best thing to do. Firewalker up for Exploit, however, which should get rid of the... Ooh, wow, that's actually really useful. Gets rid of the fleas pretty quickly, and... Set up these napalm areas. That, well, helps against the Venom, but not especially. However, the Venom going through yet another napalm field. Good for the fleas, though. Like I said, fire gets rid of fleas very well. That being said, Firewalker once again stunned out, and a Pyro coming to save it. I mean, as best as it can. Of course, being rather wide berth fire unit, can only do so much, but still, Firewalker unfortunately does have a minimum range and is going to go down to the fleas before it deals any additional damage, so that is a huge unit to have gone down. That's 12,000. That's 1,200 metal. Right there. 1,200 metal out. Radavadra is. I think going to take this. I I do not really agree with that Firewalker. That was that was a weird choice. Just more pyros, honestly. The placeholders aren't a bad idea, but it doesn't matter. Exploit throws in the towel in a rather odd way. I'm not sure if he realizes he can hit surrender, but yeah. There we go. He does hit surrender, and that is game. Bit anticlimactic, but Radavadra does win, and he was complaining in the chat that he wasn't being shown as winning. Well, admittedly, there was a 360 elo difference, so I don't know how much that's going to be considered valid. That being said, Exploit actually is a pretty good player. He's not that bad. His elo... Not sure if it's actually validly that low. I mean, I have seen him play before. He's not that bad. So it's not totally invalid, but yeah, Radavadra just out-contained him. That contained. That's the thing to take away from here. Fleas contain terrifying love. That's the thing to take away from this entire evening stream. Fleas are awesome at contains. So, with that, I will be done. That is going to be it for me tonight. Thank you all for watching, everybody, and have a good night.